Hey, how you doing? Dr. Tyler Williams at Pinecrest Dental here. And you found us or found this video because you're interested in sedation dentistry, or maybe you hate the dentist, or you hate the drill, or the sound, or the smell, or the taste just drives you nuts. Uh, a lot of people find us because they hate needles, right? They're just scared of needles. And the thought of that going into your mouth is just bone chilling, terrifying. Some people are just you know, moderately anxious from it. And that's perfectly understandable too, right? So we kind of talk through it on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate yourself, right? And that's what we'll get into in this video is based on that, what types of sedation you should consider because there are multiple types of sedation. And, um, you know, dental anxiety causes thousands and thousands of people every year to put off needed dental work that, often turns into root canals or loss of teeth or bad breath or gum disease that for the most part can be prevented or minimized if you get the help you need. So sedation dentistry for us has been a game changer and we couldn't do what we do without, it. you know, everything from veneers to treating gum disease to full mouth implants to partial mouth implants. Um, to dentures, all these kind of things. Sedation makes all the difference. And if you haven't tried it, you should definitely consider it because it can change your life. And I can't tell you how many people we've helped that have said, I wish I would have known about this years ago because I've had bad experiences time after time after time at my dental visits or having one or two or three teeth worked on was completely miserable. And then we do sedation and sometimes we're doing a whole smile makeover or full mouth veneers or new implants and people forget most or all of what happened and wake up when it's over and it's fantastic. So there are uh, three, maybe four really types of sedation dentistry you could look into. So the first one is just numbing um, with nothing else. All right. And that would mean, you know, you just have an injection near the spot where your tooth is having pain or problems or cavities. And that's um, just localized. OK, but it doesn't do anything for your mind. It doesn't help you feel relaxed. OK, maybe you listen to headphones or music. And for some people, that's enough. Um, but that doesn't, you know, take care of the rest of your body, but it sedates that area, so to speak. It anesthetizes that area, so to speak. Okay. Your next step up from that is laughing gas. Okay. And if you've never had laughing gas, um, it's mostly oxygen, but it's mixed with nitrous oxide, which is a special gas that you breathe in. And it's a very mild level of sedation. So if your anxiety levels like a two, three, maybe a four of dental work, you should try laughing gas because it can work really well. You just need to make sure that you keep your mouth closed as much as possible when you're inhaling it, which can be hard to do when you're having dental work, but when you have breaks, when you're first uh, taking it, if you keep your mouth closed. Some people, it works incredibly well. I've had people who get so, so relaxed, and I have a few people who feel almost nothing. Most people are somewhere in between. The advantage with laughing gas is you can drive yourself home from the visit, <clears throat> and it makes you care less about what's happening, right? Um, but it's completely out of your system within two to five minutes. That's why it's safe, effective, and you can drive yourself home after, right? And I think that it could be used a lot more than it is because of its safety and easiness to use. And then usually you'll have your mouth numb as well. So you have numbing, laughing, yes, all right? The next level up from that <clears throat> is my favorite for helping patients, which is oral sedation. Oral sedation is um, when you, uh, you'll take a pill that's kind of like a heavy muscle relaxer and it makes you really, really drowsy. So uh, comparatively, you know, if you have seen someone or, you know, maybe you or someone, you know, have had uh, alcohol to the point where you get very tired, okay, and kind of just lazy and relaxed, it would be similar to that, okay? It's, it's kind of like, you know, if someone was drunk, only we're doing it in a controlled professional way. So you get very sleepy, uh, you'll probably fall asleep on your own because you'll be so tired, but we're not inducing sleep or we're not putting you to sleep, which means that it's very safe that way. So you want to eat something before your appointment. This is different than other types like general anesthesia. If you're going to the hospital, it'll be put completely under where they give you instructions specifically, don't eat. This one you will want to eat so you don't get nauseous, okay? 
Uh, with oral sedation, a lot of our patients will talk to us a little bit during the procedure, but when they wake up or when it's finished or the next day, they go, I can't even remember what happened. That was incredible. So we love oral sedation because it's easy, it's safe, it's cost effective, and you know it works for probably 90% of the treatments that we do here. Our patients really like it. Um, Biggest disadvantage is you can't drive for six to eight hours afterwards. So you got to have a designated driver take you home and you got to pretty much have the rest of the day off. Um, but it's also nice because it's a muscle relaxer, your jaw or some of those areas of your mouth that can be stretched or opened for a prolonged period of time during treatment, those are relaxed and uh, you kind of get a, a kill two birds with one stone because your jaw is relaxed and your whole body and mind are relaxed. And you'll forget usually 50 to 100% of what happened. Then the next one up from that, is where you get into your deeper sedation, okay? So this is kind of your third option. This is usually an IV sedation or general anesthesia. Um, this uh, can be done either in a hospital or most of the time done in a dental office for dental procedures, of course. And uh, we have an anesthesiologist come in and this is where we are inducing deeper sedation or putting you to sleep so you don't remember or hear anything. There's a little bit more risk involved, a little more time, a little more medical history that has to happen, but it's a great option. If you're like a 10, 11, out of, 11 or 12 out of 10 is what we say, um, kind of jokingly, but not joking about, you know, your anxiety of the dentist, of course, because that is a real fear. Um, but if you're like, hey, I just walking into a dental office, you know, my blood pressure goes up and I'm a 10 out of 10 and I'm just through the roof, then you probably want to look at that third option. But most people we see, they're somewhere between a five and a nine and the oral sedation works incredibly well. Sometimes we'll give you some laughing gas with the oral sedation pill to amplify it and make it work even better. Even if laughing gas alone doesn't work very well on you, if you use the sedative with the laughing gas, it's, it's a nice combination. So the point of this is know that there are some options and you don't have to live in fear of the dentist any longer. Uh, all of us have fears. All of us have something that pushes our button. And for some people, um, this may be you, uh, if you're one of you know millions and millions throughout the world, that just dental experiences are fearful. And we think about it, you know, you're having needles in your mouth, you're having drills in your mouth, you're having all these things in your mouth, which is a very personal, literally in your face experience. And there are new and better ways for you to experience the dentist without having to think about or remember those things. And it's a lot of fun for us when we see people coming back more frequently and having fewer cavities, um, having better looking implants, healthier gums because of sedation, which allows us to, to get them in more frequently to avoid root canals and other kind of things that all of us hate to have. So thanks for taking a minute to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, please leave some uh, comments. Um, below the video. And uh, we do have a book about this. Um, it's called Reason to Smile, right? And uh, I have a few extra copies. This is a book that I wrote and published. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, but we do keep some extra copies in the office, some free copies. So if you'd like one, um, we do have a few extras as of this video. So you can stop by the office or give us a call. Be happy to share that with you. And um, there's a whole chapter on sedation that can go into more detail than this video to help you uh, overcome your fears and get the smile you've always wanted and keep your health on track. So thanks for watching this video and we will see you on the next one.